Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, and I pray and I hope that each one of you had a beautiful and a safe night's sleep. I doubly pray that when your eyes opened this morning, the first thing that rolled off of your lips was, Thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to get it right, just in case I missed something on yesterday. You've given me another opportunity, and I do thank you for that. You may be getting up and getting dressed to prepare breakfast for that handsome husband, for those gorgeous children. You may be getting up to prepare breakfast for yourself, or you may be getting up to get dressed to go to work, drop the children off to school, go to the grocery store, just take care of the business of the day, whatever your endeavor is. I ask you before you start your busy morning to open your ears and radiate your mind and let it flow on down to your heart. And let the heart pump the word of the morning. And the word of the morning is sound. Sound. You know, we hear all kind of sounds in the night. We hear sounds early in the morning. We hear sounds all during the day. But the sound that we're going to talk about today is the one that you need to be listening for. It's that important sound, the sound that will save <coughs> your soul. <clears throat> Let's look at the definition of sound. A vibrating in the air, in the water. Sound is a noise. Something you can hear if you're in the right spot and if it is loud enough. It travels the air, travels the water, travels on land, sound. The Bible meaning of sound is to be in good health pure, wholesome, and not diverted from the truth, whole and perfect. That's what sound means in the Bible. Let's look at what Ezekiel 33, 4, 5, and 6 said. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet, and it's going to sound, and it's getting louder and louder and louder, and it's been sounding ever since God created this world. It's been sounding. And take no warning. If the sword comes and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. You know what? We have no excuse anymore to say, I did not know. The trumpet is sounding, and it ain't just started. It started in the beginning when God said, let us. If one is to notice there is a demand by the Holy Spirit that the people be allowed to hear that which is truth, what they did, what they do with it, and what they do with it is their own desires. And upon it, it will fall upon their own head. So if they choose not to hear, it's nobody's fault but mine. That's what it's saying. If you choose not to hear, it's nobody's fault but your own. Five says, he heard the sound of the trumpet and took no warning. And we're doing that today. We're going on as business as usual. We feel like we got another day. 
We got another week. We got another month and another year. His blood shall be upon him. But he who take warning shall deliver his soul. You better heed the warnings of God. And it's all around you. Just turn the news on. Turn your Facebook on. Turn your internet on. Turn it on. And you'll see the trumpet is sounding. The opportunity to accept or reject is demanded by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, it is incumbent upon the truth, the true preaching of the gospel. Are you sitting on the truth? Are you hearing truth? Are you letting truth radiate in your heart? That's what it's saying. And it goes on to say, to brew a certain and such a sign, the responsibility is then with the hearer. If you hear it and don't do, it's your responsibility. If he take not the warning, the loss of his soul will be his own responsibility. So if somebody telling you what truth is and you don't want to hear, and we definitely today don't want to hear truth. We definitely don't want nobody to criticize anything that we do. We want people to accept whatever we do. And we're in a world now. Whatever the Bible says is wrong, we say right. If the Bible said right, we say wrong. So no man is hearing the trumpet today. But. If the watchman sees the sword come, that means <clears throat> trouble coming, and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned if the sword coming, and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his own iniquity. But his blood will require at the watchman's hand. It behooves us if we know that someone is walking contrary to the word and we don't let them know their blood is required at our hand. Do you want to know that you have a child that you could have saved from going to hell and turn their life around? Do you want to know that you have a husband or wife, a sister or brother, a niece or nephew, a auntie or uncle, a friend or foe that you could have said your life is not lined up. And if you don't change, you're on your way to a burning hell. And you did not let them know. You did not sound the trumpet. Their blood is at your hand. Two types of warnings are given in this passage. The warning that should be given to the people by faith. By a faithful watchman. If you claim that Christ Jesus lives in your heart and you know that Christ Jesus has saved you, aren't you a selfish person if you don't reach out to someone else and let them know that they are walking contrary to the word of God? See, whether they listen or not, you took the blood off of your hand. And whether they want to hear it or not. See, if you plant the word, the word will not return unto him for. If you speak the word. 
the warning that should be given to the people by faithful watchmen and the warning that should be given by the Holy Spirit to unfaithful, by unfaithful watchmen. Which one are you sitting in? You better make sure that you are sitting under the faithful watchman. Who are you listening to today? The Holy Spirit or the world system? Which one? Who are you sitting under this morning? Who's you getting your teaching and your guidance? So let us remember the last portion of the verse. But his blood I will require at the watchman's hand. Are you telling the good news of Jesus Christ and his love for mankind? And are you telling them that there is a heaven and that there is a hell and the choice is yours? But I have a responsibility as a servant, as a steward of the Lord Jesus to tell you what does said to us. Are you doing that? And if the Lord Jesus says the same, I will see you on Monday. Please have a safe and a blessed weekend. And make sure the sound you're hearing is the Holy Spirit and no one else.